Hey guys and girls. So in today's video, we're going to go over um, a little bit of MySQL in PDO. Um, basically, PDO is going to be how we're going to interact with the MySQL database. And it's going to be the way that we, um, you know, create. So basically, how we create databases, connect databases, create tables, um, add new records, um, select records, and also to, to delete records, update records, and how to close connection. So those are the seven components we're going to go through. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to head over. We're going to want to start WAMP. If you've seen the first tutorial, um, that should be, you should already have that installed. Um, first mini tutorial portion. Um, so we see down here, it's getting ready. It's one out of three services. Two out of three services. Okay, all services are running. We want to come into here and go to PHP My Admin. Okay. We're going to basically, as we said before, your PHP um, my admin, the basic login is root, no password. And then we're going to go in here, we're going to create a database. So basically, we're going to create a database. We want to create a database, we're going to call it my guest for this um, tutorial that we're going through. Let's go to new. Database name, and then create, and then our database is created. And now we need to go through and create some different um, privileges and users to access the database. We're going to use our regular root for this one right now, and then we're basically going to. Um, so we guys going to this right here. Then we're going to go straight to it. So first we're going to go to server. It's going to be localhost. Um, our user name is going to be root. Um, when we do live sites, I don't recommend using this in any form of way. And then from there, we're going to come in here and we're going to come in out all this right here for now. Come back here, we're going to save this into our www directory right here. And then we'll come back down to here. Go to our directory, we have our PDO. Okay, and now we're gonna launch. Now, this page is, is PH, is HTML. And so basically, this first code is gonna basically take our server name right here take which is a host take our um, database name which is the database we're going to be interacting with our username is password and basically it's going to um, basically connect to the database and if it does have no errors going to do connection successful if it is say connection fail and that's basically the basic part right here you really need to learn about right and it's in a try and catch statement so that if it fails it doesn't shut down everything so go try it so basically go to PDO and it says connect it successfully so we see that we are connected to the database correctly um, using the local host, which is where the database is, local host right here, um, using root, um, our, our password that we don't have right here, and our username, and then the database. Now let's go through and let's create a table. Okay, so how to create a table? There's a couple of different ways. Um, the easiest way I would say is by going into here, clicking onto my guest. And create table for the table, the columns you need, and you do that. Um, but from here, we're looking at the same basic thing. So basically, we need our first part of the table to be our ID so we can identify each row. And we need to be an integer. Um, and then it needs to be a length up to six. So now we're going to create, um, now we're going to have the table right here with everything kind of laid out right there. Let's see what it does. Let's run it. Let's go to our local host. Ooh, check it. We should have a new table pop up. So inside here, let's get the structure of this table. My guess we have our ID, as we have over there, our first name, our last name, our email, our registered date, and we're ready to keep going. So let's go to the next um, section right now: how to add rows. So since we have this now ready, the first thing we're gonna really want to do is come through here, comment this back out, and we're gonna do this right here. 
because if you don't come down, it's going to do it here. Save this. Go back here. We need a new record. If we go into here, we will be able to see that new record. And it's right here. And if you come back and you load the page up a couple more times, we should have like five, six records. Or a lot more, depending on how many times we clicked it. So we have those right there. So those are records in there. So we have that. So let's cut this off right now. So we're not making any new records. And the next course we're going to do, we're going to learn how to go through and select records. So now we're going to select records. Um, basically just uncomment this right here out. And before we go look at the page, we're going to see. So basically all it's doing is taking a SQL statement, select ID. So it's getting the ID, first name, last name from my guess so of all of them. And then it's basically um, taking those taking those right there, running, running this SQL to a query, and then giving our results, and then we're doing a basically echo out the top of the table, the head of the table, and then we're gonna do a while loop, um, which is basically um while this while this these results fetch you know basically from the start of this result to the end of it. So all those are results we have in there so there's no more results it's gonna run through there, a loop through each one. And then basically we have um row basically row equals results fetch PEO association. So basically which each row it does. So and then from there we echoed out the table row and then the table data table data and then we did um basically first name last name and space and table row and then in, echoed out the end of the table so let's save this so you saved it and now we're gonna go back over here oh then we have basically a table come out with all the ids the first and last name of each one coming out and basically that's how we are so the next thing we can do is um, go to how to delete records We're gonna uncopy this. We're gonna uncomment this, and we're gonna come back to this page. We're gonna save it first. Come back to this page, and we're gonna watch this three disappear. Oop, see, oh, right here, record is deleted. So come back and see as you update the page, the record is actually deleted. There's no more three here, and we can update it as much as you want to, and it won't be there. And if we want to do like. This they won't do 14. Save it. Come back here. And row 14 is deleted now. So now we have that. So basically all we did was do the SQL statement. It's a delete. And then from is where we're deleting from. And this is the actual, um, this is the table. And we're doing where ID equals 14. And we run it through, um, Execute SQL and then basically echo out. We did it right. So let's do that. Come back through here. Then we're going to go down to, we're going to, go to how to update record. So now we're going to update the record. So let's go back to here. I like this again. Remove those things right there. And we'll see that we're going to do it for ID2. So let's come back over here. So it'll be this one right here. So we're going to change the last name of this to James. Save it. Run it, and we've seen this right here. It turns to James. So basically, right here it says update my guess, which is our table, and then set last name to James where ID equals two. So where ID equals two, set the last name to that to James, and we ran that right there. Now our last one is going to be um, just killing the connection. So let's go right through here. And basically, we just kill our connection. So basically, if we try to come back through here, let's say we try to spit these back out, it won't work because um, we um, don't have connection no more. And then throw error.